Okay, so to start off, I'm going to factor. The GCF is 4x, so I'm left with x plus 4. And then I can take out an x here, and I have x squared minus 16, difference of perfect squares, so that will factor to be x times x plus 4 times x minus 4. And the numerator is 4x times x plus 4. Okay, so you see that two things are going to reduce to 1 here. That means we're going to have two holes a hole at 0 because x over x would be at 0 and a hole at negative 4. Now my vertical asymptote is whatever makes the denominator 0 after I have put in my holes and that would be x equals 4. My x-intercepts are anything that makes the numerator equal to 0 other than the holes so there are no x-intercepts. All right, the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, so there is a horizontal asymptote, and it is at y equals 0. All right, so now I'm going to plug in two points to the left of the vertical asymptote and two points to the right. Obviously, I'm not going to pick um, any of my holes, so I'm going to do that work now. All right, so these are my values, 2, negative 2, and then 3, negative 4. This one goes 5, 4. As you can see, they are a reflection of each other. Okay, so this is going to be how this branch looks. Now, you've got to watch out for the holes. I know there is a hole at 0 and at negative 4, so I'm just going to watch out for those. I'm graphing it. Okay. So I have hole at negative four, a hole at zero. We have arrows. And our domain is everything except your holes and vertical asymptotes.